Welcome back to the channel. Kind of different stance, I guess, for this video. I normally don't show my face unless it's a haul video. I got Time Man Day. Very excited for this. Um, it is my first HasLab that's, I don't even want to say affordable. It was like 160, I think, with shipping and tax, came out to over 200. So, I mean, it's not a $30 Marvel Legends, but. It's not a $600 Galactus either. So, I picked one of these up. Of course, it's going to have probably the eye defect. We will find out. I've seen two or three people not have it out of everybody that's getting it. I'm very excited to open this guy. I should be filming other reviews first. That will literally take me five minutes. But I, I want to open this. Um, figured I'll see how easy this is to own camera. Um, might need to move it up a little bit. Oh, tape's already cut. I ain't not need this at all. Okay. Oh man, this is this is heavy. Okay, this is not. Box instruction. Oh, something fell out there. Let's grab all that first. Oh, the antennas. And grab the instructions. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think I got the straight eyes. Or, I don't know. Anyways, a couple different eyes. I will figure that out when I open them up. Is this separate? Um, we got the zombie head, which a lot of people like. I... I mean, we were so close to unlocking the scrawl head. I wish they switched this with the scrawl head. I don't have any zombie figures, so I won't be using that. But it's the easiest way to do this here. So basically, just any giant bag. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? This bag. There he is right out of the box. So hinge joints there. Um, I do need to heat up the fingers. I do not want to break those, but... Dang, this guy's massive. But, so, I, I, I guess let's get into the figure. Okay, before we get on to the figure here, let's take a quick look at this box. Um, front, Giant Man, Avengers, artwork on the side, same boat, and backdrop. So, does say has a lot on it as well. Throw that down. On the figure. Um, I guess it's easier to start off with accessories if my head will be in here. Um, now, for anybody who doesn't know, everybody was getting the wrong eyes. I think I did get the right eyes. Um, before we start off with that, antennas. And he is kind of wet. I did heat up his hands, but have the normal black ones on. He does come with the zombified ones and the white ones but i think i like the black ones more i need to figure that out on top of that face plates um while we are on to that i guess i could actually sit down the head here just pops off um separate i, I don't know it's not a ball joint it's a ball joint here at the neck but pretty interesting the way they did that um move him down so we have the zombie head. Again, I'd, I'd rather have the scrawl head, but I it, I think it still looks nice. Have the kind of grunting head here. Have kind of smiling head. And the head that is on him here, the, I don't know, kind of stern head. Uh, and I will show you quick how to remove the face. It's in the instructions and everything, but pop these out to the sides and the head should come off or i don't know if you're supposed to peel the face plate off and then the head comes out or is there peel the face i'm probably doing this wrong and i will break this but so maybe don't do what i'm doing just kind of pull that out and then the head can come out separately it's kind of a pretty weird piece of plastic but uh, I guess we will put in one of the other heads. 
Do I want the straight irons though? Let's just kind of mess with this here. What's this look like? These are not the So wait, did I get... These are straight eyes. There's all kinds of eyes here. This is just kind of creepy. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe I did not get the straight eyes. What about the zombie eyes? I don't know. There's all kinds of crap here. I need to figure out. Put this back in. Plug the tabs in. I want to know it's right. And I get. I guess that's it. Um, tabs in very interesting way. But that's just kind of freaky right there. And of course, that just plugs right back on there, and you hear it pop. So there is the head at least. Now, on to the actual figure. Um, there's some really good things about this guy, some really bad things. Basically, to start off, it's just a normal Marvel Legends upscaled. This guy was, I think, I mentioned in the beginning, he's like 160 something. With tax, he came out to like 230 and shipping. And Marvel Legends are like 30 bucks now. So, is this guy worth 230 bucks? Right off the bat, I'm gonna say no. Just an upscale Marvel Legends for that much. I should not have paid for this. Now, of course, it's going to go up in that with there only being, you know, how many made and it being a HasLab. Right off the bat, it's not worth that for just a giant figure. I mean, it, I, I just, I wish the tears were a little bit different. I don't like the zombie head. It looks cool and everything, but I'd rather have the scrawl head. And, I mean, they did do the two-pack with Giant Man and the Wasp. But I kind of wish they were included in this as tears. I get it, so everybody can at least have a Giant Man in the Wasp, but they're... I don't know, we still need yellow jacket. I wish there was just something they included in this instead of just face plates. Um, also, could have brought up the hands. I saw one guy say he wished he they were in interchangeable. I love the articulated hands, but you did have to heat them up, so now I'm kind of worried they're going to break on a thing that's $230 that I should not have to worry about. Um, but I, I do like the articulated hands. I like it more than keep changing out hands. Um, so there's that, but I guess the tears are all right. They're, they're just kind of there. To articulation, though, starting off with the head, I did mention it is a ball joint there at the neck, if I can get his face plugged back in. So a little bit of tilt there, some back, some forward. I'm not sure how well this is going to be on camera. Antennas move. Come out there, pop that in. Uh, the arms, let's see, 360 rackets, uh, have some butterfly joint not too much forward wish it was more forward here i'm not sure this is showing off on camera uh swivel here at the bicep double joints pin oh they're ratcheted too ratcheted there and i will come back to the hands um the legs oh, they're stiff but they are on ratchet joints Okay, so kind of quiet ratchet joints. Uh, out, out, actually not very far. I mean, you shouldn't need to go out farther than that, but kind of disappointing. Uh, swivel here. Let's see, assuming ratcheted. Double joints pinless. Really good there. Feet are also on ratchets. Some ankle pivot and toe articulation. Coming back up. The torso. So it has some rocker here, which is very good. Uh, let's see, forward, back, now has the ab crunch down here, so forward and back. So, I don't, I think it's okay, it definitely works better in person than I thought. Um, back, there's no swivel here at the waist, almost seems kind of like it needs that, um, but better than I thought it would be actually. Uh, while I have them out, the paints... I'm not sure I would have noticed this. Some spots where the light hits it, it's definitely interesting. Starting off with the head, uh, I think it's a little more brighter than the rest of the figure, especially the chest, but I don't think it's very noticeable. At least for me and the light it's under. Shoulders seem a little bit light too. Uh, then the red, there's, there's no painting on the red whatsoever, which I, I, I guess you don't need it, but... 
I, I don't know how I feel on that. Um, black, I think, looks all right here. The belt, originally I thought it was really nice. It's got some nice shell shading in it, but, I mean, in the creases, it gets a little messy. The blue, though, um, I saw some people say it should have been a lighter blue, which I also would not have noticed if people talked about it. Apparently, in the HasLab pictures, the blue was a lot brighter. The old Toy Biz bath is brighter. For it to be accurate, it should be brighter. I do really like this blue, though, so I'm not going to complain there. Except with the blue, it has some shading. Kind of just going to hold his crotch out. Point that out. But up above here, there's a lot of shading. There's a lot of shading down here in the shorts. But there's there is none whatsoever there at the crotch piece. So, I, I don't know. It's kind of interesting they did that. Besides that, there might be some shading here on the forearms. Oh, gotta go back over the hands, but... Yeah, besides that, I do... I mean, there's some shading here, I think. I, I don't know. The, where there's shading, it's very weird. It kind of doesn't make too much sense. I guess it at least has some. Like, there's some down here at the knee, but none of it's really noticeable. Uh, the hands, though, forgot to mention those. All individually articulated. Uh, two joints here. And then the only difference here at the thumb is it does have a, you know, kind of swivel here. But really, articulation is just the same as our own Marvel Legend. And paint's about the same. Some light, it looks really good. Others, it just, you can tell where there's the difference. Size comparisons, I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Um, he's massive. Do you have any comic figures beside me? Dr. Doom. So, of course he's huge. We got the movie Iron Man. Have Kingdom uh, Rodimus here. Of course, towers over him. Oh, and there are some wires coming out from his hands. Got Z Toys Deadpool. And a McFarlane figure for anybody who cares there. So, of course, this guy's huge. Um, the only thing is I do want to see one more size comparison. Okay, last size comparison I want to see here is with the Ark. Oh, and he is bigger, which he better have been for what we paid for him. But, yeah, this is the only Titan class figure I have left in my collection. Uh, I have some people interested. Don't know if I'm going to sell it or not. But I did want to wait to get Giant Man just to see the height here. And, man, Giant Man's definitely taller. So, there you go, at least with this guy. So... There he is, kind of, well, I guess we'll see how long this video is, um, I don't know, a lot more I should talk about, show off some more comparisons, I am not, my display is not built for that, the review area, so this is kind of what we got for now, definitely interesting, I still don't think he was worth the 200 bucks, but I really like him, he's actually a lot of fun, I mean, this guy will be fun posing, messing around with, first thing I did was scare the living crap out of my dogs, so my dogs don't like this. I don't, I don't know about your pets, but mine, mine don't. Mine are terrified. But, yeah, there he is. Basically, for anybody wondering, he's just a huge Marvel Legend figure. But I still like him. Where is he going? I have no idea. On some shelf. But, yeah, there he is. If you did pick him up, let me know what you think of him. If you opened yours yet. If you got yours yet. Shipping for this guy was all over the place. Um... Georgia, I think, got it a day or two ago. Of course, people in California got it right away. So, I, yeah. Especially FedEx with tracking numbers. I don't know. Shipping was all over. But people were finally getting him. I got mine. Hopefully, this review, I guess, goes out tomorrow morning. Should have done it tonight, but put out a Megatron review instead. So, we'll find out there. But, yeah. Let me know what you think of him. First HasLab. So, you can appreciate that, at least. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And see you in the next one.